men are dead and one left in a critical condition after an accident that took place here in Sand Hill Village. It was a near head-on collision between a passenger bus and an Isuzu D-Max that has left two families grasping for answers. And while Brandon Gillett and James Dawson died on the spot, it wasn't long after that that the third victim, Eustace Dawson, passed away as well while receiving treatment. And according to the conductor of the bus, it all started when a taxi driver made a sudden stop in the middle of the road. Well, it's well at 8.30 or so, and like what I said, it was a taxi fault that they stopped in the middle of the road. And for not crashing to the taxi or kill the people that were standing there, we came off the road. But it looked like the Hilux got shook and he came off the road and head on. But we wasn't going fast, that was the pickup. When it go faster and it crash into it and thing, it's really rough because losing a family member is something really rough. Were you watching the road when this happened? Yes, I was. What were your thoughts? Well, I tried to tell him slow down, but you know, something like this can't slow down one lick. So like what we do, we try, we come off of the road completely because you can see where it happened and the high looks, the D-Max I mean, look like he got frightened and he come off of the road and so, came into it head on. And that what killed them the most for them speed. Because they made it go hard. And in the after aftermath, tell us a little bit about how you're feeling, how you're processing this. Well, honestly, <laughs> kind of got a little frightened. After the accident, Eustace Dawson was rushed to the hospital, while his uncle, James Dawson, and Brandon Gillett, the chairman of Crooked Tree Village, were trapped in the vehicle. The fire service's jaws of life were required to extract them turning their pickup truck into a chunk of crushed metal. And the three men left out of their homes early this morning on business. They were heading to Belmapan to a very important meeting with the area rep, Marconi Leal. It's a sad day, not only for Crooked Tree, but you know, it's, these guys are well known all over rural north. So it's, it's a crushing blow for all of us. Um, I was heading to Belmapan. We were supposed to have a meeting with them, along with myself and and um, lands, because we're trying to get more land in Cookie Tree for, for residents of Cookie Tree. So the chairman, you know, these guys are working for their people, it's, it, they're on the job. I was there waiting for them, and when I figure out, then I reach it, then I make a call, then I figure I know they crash. That was supposed to meet me in Belmopan to go to the lands department. No. You know, and the, and the, um, the, the livestock department too. And for the Gillette family, it's almost like deja vu since the chairman also lost his father in a car accident back in 2016. And after Dean Dawson's death, the mother of her children had pleaded for financial assistance for her kids. And today, she told us it was like having a flashback, especially since she was a mother figure to Gillette. We were very close. He is like a son to me. And I was very shocked when I heard the news that he gets in an accident. Um, a, a while ago, about 10 minutes ago, I heard it. And it was a shock to me because um, I never expected, you know, they leave from home. Well, we don't know when they're running to when they left from home. The chairman that died in an accident as well, yes. So that it's very... It, when, when, when that had happened? Um, sure. That happened when the two... My boy, well, my boy were nine years old, but I don't really know what year. I don't remember right now, right? But nine years old, my son were nine years old at the time. So right now it's feel like a little impact to me. That's why I respond like this when I meet this in this shock, right? Because that flicked back to me in that air with the wife of the chairman, how she felt right now with the little boy. Because I was in that position, the same size of that little boy with my son. And like Adolfo six years ago, Jillette's wife will have to raise their only son alone. And for the entire family, it's a tragedy beyond words. But by all accounts, Gillette was known to work hard for his family and his community. That was a hard process because um, that was a thing where unexpected. So everybody still left at the morning side and crying. Nobody get their composure together, you know? And when they push through, by grace of God. Bannon was a nice guy. He's a con constructor, right? Very nice and village chairman. Apparently the youngest village chairman ever being a country, you know, hard working, have one, one kid, one son. I was at his house Saturday night, me and my wife and, and my son, the CEO, just, just socializing, just talking about what we can do for Crooked Tree, you know, and, and for, for this to happen just a few days after, it's really, really sad, knowing that he's, he's so aggressive, 
want to get get things done for Crooked Tree and, and, and a young man and I think about his wife and his son. I love his son, little Warren. When I heard it's three of them I, I started to wonder if if it's a chairman and his son, his son in there, we had to hurry ask and they said no it was not Warren because I love Warren so much. So it's it's very touching, it's very rough, rough for all of us. And like Jillet, the uncle and nephew Dawson Duo were also known to fight hard for their community. In fact, James Dawson has, in the past, stood up to Audubon during the protests in his village and has advocated on behalf of farmers during floods. And earlier this afternoon, Liel reminisced on the friends he'd known for years. I don't know if he says that, well, I know his dad more than I knew the son, but I was at a workshop uh, like a month ago with, with cattle, so I know he's into the cattle business, and he was there asking a whole lot of questions. And that, that was when I really got to know the young man but James I know him for years many many years and he um, I know he he's he's a worker for his community he's not on the village council but he's he's a worker for his community very very involved um, but the chairman I know him I know him from he was a little boy very close to the family Courtney Menzies 7 News